Hi students, uh, I hope you have uh, solved all the problems uh, what I sent to you uh, covering CBSC syllabus and IIT joint entrance main and advanced portion. Uh, in case of any doubt, please do send me email and those who are not able to access my study material and question paper, please send me email here. It is K O N A R dot classes C L A S S E S at Gmail dot com. So in this session, we are going to discuss uh, some problems and let's see how we can approach to make a very effective solution. First thing, what else? Give you ideas about how to prove two sets are equal. If you remember, in our very first day class, I said a very simple thing: two sets A and B will be equal if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. So that means what? That means is that A equal to B. is possible that means if and only if a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a if both are uh, holding at the same time then you can say a is a subset of b now further one more point, one more level of depth how we can prove this thing that a is a subset of b that you can prove by means of this way that x belongs to A should imply x belongs to B. So what does it mean? That means that the moment you are able to prove this one, take any arbitrary element x in the set A and prove that that element belongs to B, that means for any element, arbitrary element x, so x can be uh, any element of the set A. So for which, if we can prove x belongs to B, that means A is a subset of B. In the similar manner, here also, you can take an element x or some suppose some other element y, any arbitrary element y belongs to B, take it and prove that that y belongs to A. Okay, so then you can prove that B is a subset of A. So this is one way to prove two sets A and B are equal. You know, sometimes sets should not be a very single thing. It would be a composition of several sets by means of operation union, intersection, complement, difference, symmetric difference like that. We will see how to solve it. The first one is that you will take an element, so if someone has to prove, someone told you to prove that two sets are equal, A equal to B, first you take an element X of A and prove that X belongs to B, so you prove that A is a subset of B. The first part is proven, proved. Second, you take another element, Y belongs to B, any arbitrary element, and prove that Y belongs to A, so you prove the other part, that B is a subset of A. When both the things are holding true, then, <coughs> You can prove that a equal to b. Now here, few important formulas. I just want to revisit once. We already discussed during our theoretical discussion, but here I would like to discuss it once. Okay. So what are those? Very important. Very very important. Okay. Right? Let's uh, write it here. Okay. Let it be there. Okay. So you know. If I tell that uh, x belongs to A union B, what does it imply? That implies x belongs to A 
or x belongs to b right similarly x doesn't belongs to a union b means something little different than this wording it belongs it means x doesn't belongs to a and x doesn't belongs to b so this wording is very very important or stands for a union b and stands for element doesn't belongs to a union b and the other way okay other way means for intersection let's see how it actually happens so this is one thing second thing is that <coughs> a element x belongs to a intersection b that implies x belongs to a and x belongs to b but the element it doesn't belongs to a if intersection b implies x doesn't belongs to a or x doesn't belongs to b please note down the wording it is exactly opposite to the union operation right <coughs> correct next one is that x belongs to a bar or a prime or a complement all are same you know x belongs to a bar that means x belongs to a prime x belongs to a complement all are synonym you know all these three means that x doesn't belongs to a right understood clear okay next one is that x belongs to a minus b that implies x belongs to a but x doesn't belongs to b you know here also this wording but is very important okay you know instead of but we could have written and also but i have not written and here because i don't want to mix up with that intersection and okay so that is cause x doesn't belongs to a minus b correct now what does it mean about the other one that x doesn't belongs to a minus b what does it imply think about it x doesn't belongs to a minus b means <coughs> x is either belongs to a union b i'm sorry i'm sorry it means let's let's draw the uh, venn diagram very quickly suppose this is the set a and this is the set b so a minus b is which one a minus b is this part okay the red line what i am i mean drawing so that is a minus b now x doesn't belongs to a minus b means x is belongs to anywhere in this region that means x belongs to a intersection b or x belongs to b minus a right so that you know that in place x belongs to a intersection b right or x belongs to b minus a correct now this is a minus b and a sorry this is a intersection b this is b minus a that also further implies that x belongs to b isn't it <coughs> okay now why i am saying all these things so these are important these wordings are important to place properly okay you know when you are proving a 
equality of two sets by means of this approach that one is a subset of the other the other is a subset of this this one okay in that way this is one way to prove that two sets are equal now there is some other there is two different ways in addition to this one what is the second approach second approach is that you can just have a look into the Venn diagram okay whenever two sets you have been given to prove that two sets are equal okay for the left hand side set you draw a Venn diagram okay and see how it represent and the second the right hand side set composition what has been given to you you draw an another Venn diagram and you see both the Venn diagrams it should look equal okay then you can prove that yes these two sets are equal by means of Venn diagram. The third approach is that we'll see an example of that about using Venn diagram. Third approach is that you know by applying the different properties, okay, associative property, distributive property, the property what you show for difference of two sets, okay, and all these things if we apply, then also you can prove that two sets are equal. All right. We are going to see one some example from each of these categories. Okay. <coughs> Suppose the example is that, uh, could you please uh, read this one? Uh, A minus B union B minus A. Okay, so there is a question here I am seeing from one of my students notebook is that we need to prove that A minus B union B minus A is equal to A union B minus A intersection B. A union B minus a intersection B. How we are going to prove that one? Right? As I said, let X be any arbitrary arbitrary element. in the set that is the left hand side set okay in the set what a minus b union b minus a okay so then what you see that x belongs to a minus b union b minus a this implies what? This implies x belongs to a minus b union means or x belongs to b minus a. This implies x belongs to a but x doesn't belong to b or x belongs to b but x doesn't belongs to a this implies now we can take x belongs to a or x belongs to b from here x belongs to a or x belongs to b then this but will come here and again there will be an or Right? Correct? So here it will be but x doesn't belongs to b or x doesn't belongs to a. This implies x belongs to a or x belongs to b. That means x belongs to a union b. Right? But x doesn't belongs to b or x doesn't belong to a that means x doesn't belongs to b intersection a but x 
Dawson belongs to B intersection A. So that implies X belongs to A union B but X doesn't belongs to A intersection B. Why? Because B intersection A is equal to A intersection B because intersection is commutative in nature. So this implies X belongs to A union B minus A intersection B because what is there? So we started with an element X as arbitrary element in the set A minus B union B minus A in the left hand side, left -hand side uh, composition expression of sets and we prove that that element belongs to A union B minus A intersection B which is the set as described in the right hand side okay so what we can conclude we can conclude A minus B union B minus A is a subset you should write an improper subset symbol here because it there is a chance to be equal is equal to A union B minus A intersection B this is the first part of the proof okay <coughs> now in the similar manner okay in the similar manner we can take why be any arbitrary element in the set this one hmm? let y be any arbitrary element in union B minus A intersection B A union B minus A intersection B so what does it mean that means that if we take one Y belongs to this that means Y belongs to a union B minus A intersection B that implies Y belongs to A union B but Y doesn't belongs to A intersection B see the same approach is coming here right here, uh, yeah, yeah, here, this one, and the next step will be this one, that means y belongs to A union B, but y doesn't belong to B intersection A, next step will be this one, or means A, y belongs to A, A or y belongs to B, in this way it will go in the reverse order while you are proving, should I show in details, okay, uh, then let me continue from here okay continue from here so that means that implies y belongs to a or y belongs to b all right is the entire portion of that board is getting covered? This portion is getting covered? Okay, good. So, Y belongs to A or Y belongs to B, but Y, okay, this board is not getting covered. Okay, then let me see. This part is getting covered. Okay, right. Then we need to do something. Okay. So, um, okay. 
So let me continue from here. So this part is getting proved. Okay. Now let me rub it off. Okay. Okay. I just want to do so that how uh, this part is coming. This part is coming properly. Okay. So let me continue from here. So this implies y belongs to A or y belongs to B. <coughs> Sorry, but y doesn't belongs to A or y doesn't belongs to B because this is a and A sorry intersection. Okay. So this implies what you see. This is the reverse of this stage. Alright. Uh, yeah. This is the exact reverse. This this stage, this step and this step are same. Then I'll come here down and go up. That means what? I'll write the exact thing. Y belongs to A, but Y doesn't belong to B. Obviously, because what is coming here in and here it is coming or here y belongs to b but y doesn't belong to a correct now i'll come down here and go up here that means the same stage y belongs to a but y doesn't belong to b that means y belongs to a minus b or or here y belongs to b but y doesn't belong to a that means y belongs to b minus a that implies y belongs to a minus b union b minus a so we started with taking an arbitrary element in the right hand side set the set we have been discussing in the right hand side and we proved that that element belongs to the set which is described in the left hand side. That means what? So we can conclude that A union B minus A intersection B is an improper subset of what is A minus B union B minus A. This is number 2. From the resulting number 1 and number 2, we can conclude both the sets are equal. Okay. Fine. Let's uh, uh, take the next example. Okay. <coughs> sorry. Extremely sorry. That prove that a minus b is equal to a intersection b prime. A minus b is equal to a intersection b prime. Now, how you are going to prove it? That is the point. Yes, you can prove it by the by means of the way what I described earlier. That prove this is a subset of this and this is a subset of that. In that way you can do. But here we see how Hindagen is going to help me. Okay. So suppose this is the universal set. This is the universal set. Okay. Now this is the set A. And this is the set B. This is the set B. This is the set A. Now what is A minus B? A minus B is this is a set whatever I drawn in the blue line now what is B prime B prime is B complement B B complement will be this one <coughs> all the elements except B 
all the elements except B. That is the B complement. And what is the set A? A is the entire set, this one. This is the entire set A. This is the set A. Right. This is the set A. Now, what is the intersection between this set A and B complement, which is there in the red lines? Okay? So intersection between the B complement which is the red lines and intersection between the set A is nothing but the intersection area of the red and blue lines that means this area, this region, this region and this is nothing but A minus B. So you see by means of Venn diagram you can prove that yes it is possible that to prove that two sets are equal. Let's see the next example. Okay. <clears throat> uh, can you uh, show me uh, the other paper, the other example? Uh, not this one. Let me see. No, that one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. Suppose uh, the another proof is there that A intersection B symmetric difference C. A intersection B symmetric difference C is equal to. I need to prove A intersection B. Symmetric difference A intersection C. Okay. Now, there are two ways we can prove it. Okay. Whatever the two ways, what we described earlier. One is that prove this is a subset of this, this is a subset of that. You can do this thing, you can prove it. You can make use of the Venn diagram and you can prove it. The other way, by using the different properties, we can also prove it. That we are going to see. Okay. Let's take <coughs> the left hand side set. Okay. So, A intersection B symmetric difference C means what? That is equal to A intersection. What is B symmetric difference C? B minus C union C minus B intersection. Here I can write like this B minus C union C minus B that is equal to what you can write A intersection B minus C union C minus B that means A intersection B minus C A intersection B minus C union A intersection C minus B okay clear understood understood clear A intersection B minus C union C minus B that means A intersection B minus C for B minus C comes out then that union will be there. Then again there will be one intersection. What is that property? That property is called distributive property. Why? Because this intersection is getting distributed twice. You see in this expression there is one intersection, one union. But in this expression there are two intersections and one union. That means intersection is getting distributed over union. Okay. Now what is this equal? A intersection B minus C <coughs> union A intersection C minus B. So we can write A intersection B minus A intersection C 
union A intersection C minus A intersection B Okay? So what is this? 